Hello and welcome back to SF Giants recap. In today's game, it was the San Francisco Giants versus the Texas Rangers. So that's what we'll be going over today. So make sure to subscribe and like if you do end up enjoying the video. So let's go over the scoring first. Brad Miller stole a base and then Kirk Sally made an error throw it, trying to throw him out. So that gave the Rangers their first run of the game. And then in the bottom of the second, the Giants answered back with the Austin Slater double. That brought in three runs, so that was really good for Austin Slater. And then Brandon Crawford reached on an error, and then so that brought in another run to make it 4-1. In the top of the sixth, Matt Carpenter singled for the Rangers to make it 4-3, Giants still leading. And then in the bottom of the sixth, Wilmer Flores homer to make it 5-3, extending the Giants' lead. And then the bottom top of the seventh, Jonathan Ornelas doubled. And then JP Martinez homered. So that made it 7 5 Rangers lead. And then in the bottom of the seventh, Johnny Peretta singled to bring in a run for the Giants, making it 7 6 ball game heading into the ninth. But then in the bottom of the ninth, Austin Dean homered tying up the game. And that was the ending score. It was a tie 7 7. Giants versus Rangers. Uh, tie obviously you don't want to happen, but it's spring training. It's more for practice and stuff So I'm okay with the tie today the Giants. They didn't lose they battled back Austin Dean with the homer So that's really good to see but the Giants their pitching their starting pitching has been absolutely phenomenal uh, Alex Cobb started the day four innings only allowed four hits one run six strikeouts in four innings So that is super good to see I'm really excited about this pit, this rotation during the season. They have been performing way above expectations during spring training, and so I really hope to see them do really well during the season. And they're they look really ready right now to go into opening day in about a week. And so Jake McGee, he did really well. He went an inning, didn't allow any runs or hits, and got a strikeout. The only bad, the only downside to today's game was Tyler Rogers. He allowed two runs, and then Jose Alvarez, he allowed four runs. So those two relief pitchers, they were stellar last year. Hopefully they can bounce back, but right now, spring training, they haven't looked really good. Their command has kind of been off, given, a lot, given up a lot of just hard contact, which you don't want to see happen. You want to see weak contact or strikeouts, and so we'll see if they can bounce back. But other than that, Harleen Garcia, he went one and two-thirds inning, allowing only a walk and a hit, and then he got a strikeout. And he's been really struggling. He had a 13.5 ERA, so seeing him get a scoreless outing is really good to see because we'll, re we'll really need him in like the 6th, 5th inning this year in some of those games where the starters can't go as long. And so the Giants, they pulled out a tie today, which is better than losing, obviously. And so if we can just keep this momentum going, their bats have been super hot. Austin Slater, like you guys saw, he got a double with three RBIs, so that is really good with the offense. They've been having a lot of more power, a lot more pop in their bat, and so that will do it for today's video. So make sure to subscribe and like, and I'll see you next time for a new SF Giants recap video.